Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Slash Across the Magister. Uh, we are in the the uh, caravan that we came across. Got, got our golden tongue there. Uh, let's talk with these merchants and try to interact with them a little bit. See what they've got to sell. We're packing. Sorry. What do you mean we're packing? This dude told me that you'd be able to. Oh, so they've got all these merchants, but only one that you can actually interact with on any reasonable basis. Great. Alright. Okay. Whatever. Whatevs, man. Let's see what this guy's got. Alright. So, now we've got some stuff that we can sell. And he's got some stuff that he can sell. So we've got a small smith toolkit. A spell book. You know what? I said I was going to get a component pouch. We're going to get a component pouch. But first we're going to sell some stuff. Uh, I'm going to sell the dagger. Sell the short bow. Sell the spare long bow. Sell the long sword. Um, yeah, that'll work. And then we will buy component pouch. All right, what else we got to sell? I know we got a lot of random stuff that we can go ahead and ditch. The scimitar. Uh, go ahead and sell that. Come on. No, it's all stuff that we need. Which is unfortunate. I mean, we've got treasure and such, but... Uh, I should probably get the the whole... Uh, detect magic and identify spell up, too, for more magic items. This guy doesn't really have anything magical to sell, does he? Got plate armor. I mean, I'm gonna eventually find better, but... And then he's got potions of greater healing and such. Yeah, let's, we don't need to identify stuff. We're going to need to go ahead and do ritual cast, detect magic. And then we will ritual cast, identify. I don't need stardust, do I? That's an ingredient. Don't need acid. Um, got this magnificent short bow. That's a short bow plus one. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and detect magic. No, I don't need to detect magic. Ah! Just to identify. Don't need the potions of healing. Don't need any of that. We'll go in here. Do we got anything we need to. The arrows plus one. That's useful. Don't need any of that. Don't think I need any of this. We've got a magnificent dagger we need to identify. And um Then we have some sort of studded leather we needed to identify too. Do I seriously not have anything like that anymore? Who had the studded leather I needed to identify? Here we go. Magnificent studded leather. Alright, how did studded leather become hide armor plus one? That was odd. And we got a dagger that we need to identify too. Come on. There we go. This will be the last one. Dagger plus one. Alright, so let's see what we got here. We have... Half plate plus one. 
breastplate plus one. We need uh, with that short sword. We're gonna replace it with that that dagger I just got. So we will have a magic item in our offhand. Uh, hide armor plus one. And we got a short bow plus one, but I think everybody that can use a short bow has a has it, right? Yeah, so that's actually just bonus. We can sell that along with the hide armor. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Here, here's your hide armor. I will sell that, yeah. I should probably um, living legend rebate thirty percent. All right, sure. Scale plus one. Another thing I don't necessarily need. And I got that short bow, wherever it is. There we go. Nice. So we're just uh, racking up the racking up the items. I don't necessarily know that I need to do a long rest. Can we spread some of this gear about a little bit? Alright. Imperial Mage Report. Yeah, that's the one with the light and such. I can... What do I have that's taking... Oh, the Prime Great Sword is... Like the primed weapons do do weigh a lot over time. I do not necessarily need a long rest. Do I? I don't think so. Let's go. Continuing on the way. Off to the next area. All right, so can we go in there? I guess maybe. Yeah, let's go to Copperan. Find out what we can find out in here. All right. Is this going to be like a proper settlement? There's our long rest camp. We got a copper and guard up there. Uh, well, it doesn't look like we can go back there. Try and come up here to the guard. Halt! Do you seek entrance to our fair valley? Oh my god, what is wrong with your voice? Then go see Sergeant Nikonin in the guardhouse. Thank you. Clear skies. Stay in the light. Oh. Good day. I'm Sergeant Nikonin, officer of the day. What business brings you to Copperan? Well, Sarge, we've got a bunch of stuff of yours on our way here. Of mine? What exactly? Here they are, Sarge. The ring, the badge, the insignia. The man who wore those was of middling height. Broad shoulders, dark hair, and a broken nose. Am I right? Correct. You knew him then? He broke his nose after an exchange of views behind the barracks. Yeah, you might say tried that. tried to headbutt his basic training instructor. That was me. Now tell me, what happened to my good friend Roald? First, please accept our sincere condolences. He did. Now tell me where, when, how, and who. Two days ago. It was at a small camp in some Manakalan ruins. He was found almost dead by the caravan people. They tried to heal him... And then, some travelers in the caravan rushed in to kill your friend 
and the guards Master Gala had posted. Uh, no idea who those guys were? No, sir. Nope. They looked like common mercs to me. Did Roald say anything to you? It was too late for Too him. late when we got there. Was... Listen, go and speak to the Senard. Tell him everything. Sure thing. The Senard? The Senard? The Senard is the ruler of the Vale of Caparan. And where is the Senard? You can find him at the town hall at this hour. Give him this note from me and tell him exactly what happened. Sure thing. Here, my signature on the letter from Gala. Take it to Master Warmheart at the general store. And here's a note for the Senard. Stay in the light. So let's continue on our way then. Is this... Baron, really a dwarf? Are there dwarf? I can't call a dwarf, my lord. Can I? Yes, you can. You absolutely can. That sounds wrong. Man, and we got to cart this woman around with us while she's talking all that. I'm gonna walk up here, and she's gonna insult the lord. And we're gonna get kicked out. All right, well, we got the general store right here, right oh, front and center. What can we do for you on this fine morning? We have a letter for you. Clear skies to you. Master Golden Tongue sent this letter. Of course, of course. Here you go. Just doing quests left and right. Master Golden Tongue's instructions are quite clear. Here's your money, and here's a receipt to sign. Would you be interested in sampling our wares? Yes, I would. See your wares. What do you sell? So what you got for me here? A whole lot of nothing, right? There's a component pouch. On the belt. Okay, that could be useful. That could be very useful. In fact, that could arguably be more useful than a component pouch held in the hand over here. Let's say we do this. Boom. And then equip this. Now we're going to equip this. Now can we cast spells with a component pouch? Let's reorder this. Where's my component pouch belt that I just purchased? There we go. Still need to sell that backpack, I guess. All right, what else is in here? Got to explore this entire town, don't we? All right. Got some places up there, up there that need exploring. Let's come around this way. What are those, like, notice boards? Alright, local cleric of Arun. Oh, do we have faction people here? So we're good so far. I don't know what's in there. Let's go over here. There's just the people that we can talk to. Are you coming over here? Come on, everybody. So what do we got in here? A whole lot of nothing, right? Oh, there's a tavern. Alright, so we can talk to somebody here and get uh, a stay at the inn. We're supposed to talk to somebody Welcome here, to aren't inn. we? My god, her voice is grating. Yeah, we don't need we a room go. light just now. Stay in the light. Oh, man. It's like the voice acting in this game 
is either really, really spotty or really, really good, and some people are just really annoying to talk to. Because there are people like that, that you just kind of, like, you hear them and you want to make it so that you never hear them again, you know? You can't go to the other side. Hold on. All right, all right, dude. Well, we got uh, something in here to look at. Well, there's the centered, the scenered. Clear skies. Joris Nickerman says you have an interesting story to tell. Me Clear do. skies to you, my lord. Well, it all began when we came upon this caravan. Go on. We're gonna have to listen. No, we're okay. Thank God, we didn't have to listen to the whole story again. Hmm. Military matters, I usually leave in the more than competent hands of the Baron. But Nikonin sent you to me. Yep. You see, he is a rarity in the Stone Fist Mercenary Company. And what's that? old hand who was born here. Huh. We've known each other almost all our lives. He is the reason Stone Fist came to our aid during the Orc invasion. Really? And he sent you to me... That's odd. Why did you come to Koparan? Well, we had uh, some stuff. How about the stone fist? What's, what, what's that about? Company? What's that about? Our military force, since they helped us repel the orc invasion. Who's Stone Fist? Gromnir Stone Fist, founder of the Stone Fist Mercenary Company. That makes sense. All right, now what about the orc invasion? An orc invasion? Happened about fifteen years ago. Several tribes got together, whipped to a frenzy by a shaman. They hit us hard and opened a breach, got a foothold in the outer works, and were about to hit the town. Then Gromnir hit them from behind, and they were between hammer and anvil. That doesn't Sounds like he took them down. Question. Our current mission is to escort Lady Kithaela. Copran was the seat of her family before the cataclysm. And uh, Lady Kithaela is on a nostalgia trip? Yeah, apparently so, yeah. One of her ancestors left family heirlooms hidden in the fortress. Among those heirlooms, we hope to find clues about the next stage of our quest. Old elven nobility. I am sure I have never seen you before, Lady Kelly. Yeah, because she has so been in stasis for a while. ...that a newcomer or even a casual visitor can't know. In a side valley, there is an imperial mausoleum of Lanarak. Home of the honored dead. Uh, Lanarak? What the hell is that? What's Lanarak? A very particular kind of marble. Very precious. The traditional stone for the honored dead. Alright, what about the mausoleum? A place of remembrance? Yes. For the honored dead who fell in battle for the Empire. There is indeed an ancient imperial mausoleum in a side valley. Sealed off since the fall of Manakalan. Not many know of it. Thank you, my lady. I am convinced. As for the rest of you, you said you were sent by the Legacy Council. Yep, you just finding gems for this uh, for this crown. And they bring a lot of rumors. So tell me, is there any truth to the rumor that the Sorex are back? Yes. Absolute truth. And they are as nasty as legends made them. Yep. Can they truly possess others? Not possess, exactly. And what they do is worse, if you believe the tales that the paladins of Einar recovered from their archives. Do me a favor. Walk around our city. Talk to the people. Then report your impressions to Sergeant Nikonin. Not a word about what you told me, though. Sure. Do you believe the Sorax are in Copperan? They might be. For the yeah, time they be. certainly might Walk be. Walk the streets, then see Nikonin. Meanwhile, stay in the light. Clear skies to you, Cynard. Sounds like there's a lot of stuff to do here. I actually really like this setup. This town is really dirty. Yeah, well, what do you expect? There is a local cleric of Arun. Let's talk. All right. 
sun on your face, travelers. My name is Atina Bladeburn, priestess of Aaron. What can I do for you? Well, um, we need your services. We yeah. need your powers. See what you have to offer. I mean, technically, we really don't, but how do I? I guess I'm, I got living legend already. Okay, sure. Why not? Sure, why not? All right. Let's come down here. More stuff to explore. Gem quest, the monastery. Find the first clue. Yes, scavengers. Awesome. Nice. Are you the local boss of the scavengers? Please say uh, yes. I should say that. Not bossing much, I'm afraid. We used to have adventurers raiding around here, but now... Just well, I got some stuff for you. Mom. Yeah, she's around somewhere. You might run into her. We found an old Tamarian monastery south of here. Yeah? Tell me where. We'll take care of it. All right, sure. There you go. Got that quest completed. Uh, we got a lot. Of, they're they're looting a lot of stuff. All right. Yeah, let's sell all this. It's not bad. What else can we do? Well, there's a mine. Gotta go over here to where the citizens are. Kinda listen in on people as we go by. Figure out what's beyond that door. Ha! Huh, the Senator's off in mad. Why is that? The whole week he's been waiting. And still no meeting with the Baron. Well, that's weird. Usually they meet every day at least. Like an huh. old couple, the two of them. Weird. That's interesting to know. So that's the fourth clue. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Well, Matt, what can we do for you on this fine morning? Well, uh, the Senate the sent Senate us. sent us to talk to you. Anything unusual in the last days? Well, the Baron came back with a bunch of prisoners, high women apparently. I'm wondering why they didn't hang them on the spot. Well, that's interesting. Hey, hey. Would that be the normal practice? Yes. You don't need that many prisoners to make them talk, if you ask me. That's unusual. We should go. Pleasure doing business with you. Stay in the light. It's gonna be one of those ones where I find all the clues and it just gets more and more obvious that the Sorax kind of like were brought in amongst the prisoners and I only piece it together right as everything goes to hell. It's rather silly, really. This young man. He asked me for a specific design so he could propose. So, he probably gambled the money away. Not him. Straight arrow. On the fast track to Sergeant Orion, I asked around. So, where is this paragon of yours? Consigned to guard duty. A whole week. And that just on his return from patrol. That's a bit odd. Let's come on in here. Gotta be something in here, right? Oh, look, the maid. Sergeant, when can I see my Eric? He is due some liberty. Lass, I already told you. He's assigned to guard duty. A whole week of it? And that after two weeks on patrol? Yeah, the Baron's no. been taken over. Just doesn't want to it's see pretty me obvious. Now, Lass, don't you fret. It's not that at all. He's probably just the dead. has his whole patrol on guard. Duty in the basement ever since they came back. The Something's basement. up. Basement? Whatever it is, it can't be good. 
That's not good. Let's talk to the bartender. Mistress Mildred, the brewer wants to know when to bring the next delivery of ale. He doesn't want it to go stale. He has his reputation to consider. If only the stone fist had let his thirsty patrol out on leave as usual. But now, we've only got the regulars and the ale's not moving too fast. Take him two empty barrels and get two new. It's the best we can do right now. All right. So he's not even letting his men drink. We've got a fine Sergeant Nickamen. Who should be like right up here, right? Yeah. Pretty obvious something up. All right. So I can't like just click on him. I got to click on the ground and then talk to him. Rushing through town. Well met again. So, you've had a chance to walk around the city and hear what people are saying? So, so you knew we were going to do, do that? Think? Um, these highwaymen. The story with the highwaymen is also weird. Why keep them prisoner? Normally, the penalty is clear and swift. On the frontier, you don't feed idle people, particularly not scum like highwaymen. At best, you put them to work. At worst, they become fertilizer. Right, right. And the soldiers? Something is wrong here. Soldiers back from a patrol denied leave, posted to guard duty instead of visiting the tavern. There are two things I didn't mention in our last conversation. And what is that? Things about Rull and the Baron. Rold? What about Rold? When you told me of Rold's death and return his personal effects, I was speechless. Not out of grief, but because not a week before, Rold had come back from patrol. Oh he, no! One of them is not who he seems. Yes, indeed. What about the Baron? I've known him for twenty years. I was a founding member of the company. Looks now, like you're about to get a promotion, my dude. In years, I am officer of the day posted here, and that's not all. For the last ten years, he's always called me Joris. Now, all of a sudden, it's back to Nikonin. Something is wrong. I can feel it. Yep. Suggestions, Sarge? The Senard mentioned your mission. He and I go back a long way. So, go to see the Baron. And tell him your heirloom story. Looks like we're gonna I have to deal with an attack. Normal reaction would be. So come back, and we can compare notes. Indeed. And if I were you, I wouldn't mention Royal, the caravan, or anything else. Nope. Definitely not. To you. All right, let's go find the find the Baron. Where's the Baron? Oh, now this is open. Looks like they're expecting me. Looks like I gotta deal with some stuff. Yeah, now he is, I bet. Oh, wow, okay. Just wanted to make sure there's nothing in here I need to worry about. There's that, and then there's this courtyard up there. Door cannot be opened, so it's up here. Time to kill us a Sorak. Or maybe not. Alright, let's go in here. Oh, there's the Baron. Greetings, adventurers. Sergeant Nikonin says you want to see me on some urgent matter. Yes, sir. Yes, it concerns our traveling companion, Lady Cathayla. Then let her speak for herself. My lord, before the cataclysm, this valley was in the care of my family. Alas, only a few of us managed to survive, and none at all in the valley. A sad Indeed. tale, my lady, but not uncommon. Those were dire times. 
You actually listened to it? Oh, now she's making stuff up. That's nice. Family heirlooms left in a hidden room somewhere in the fortress. With your leave, my lord, I would like to search for this hidden room and retrieve my family's belongings. Out of the question. This is my castle, and all in it belongs to me. All right. Now be gone. And be glad that, as a guest, you are protected by our customs. Time to kill somebody. Would land you in the dungeon. Well, that's that. But he's a dwarf after all. Indeed. Well, let's go ahead and talk to Nikonen. Ah, you're back. How did the audience go? Clear skies. Well, he didn't imprison us. Just threw us out. Just threw you out? That's not like him at all. Oh? He's not always so generous to strangers? No. Just pragmatic and smart. Pragmatic? Pragmatic? It would be cheaper to let you find the heirlooms under close escort. He'd demand a fee, but it's easier than having to search for himself. Ha! <laughs> and smart? Smart? Of course, smart. If we assume Lady Kithaela's story is true, then arresting her or coercing her could have drawn the ire of an elven clan. A pretty stupid move for stuff which might only have sentimental value. So Indeed. So not like Gromney at all. Fine. What do you suggest? Let me make some preparations. You go back to him tomorrow as envoys of the Legacy Council. Indeed. All right. Sounds like we've got some prep work to do. I gotta go take a long rest. <laughs> that he is, actually. I, 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 will, I will agree. He is a nice dwarf. Um, we're gonna sweep all the way over here to the... To the inn. And uh, before we rest, I will probably go ahead and uh, call it a episode. Um, because it is getting on in that time. I suspect there's going to be a massive battle or a dungeon crawl coming up, so we'll do that next time. For now, this has been the RPG Crawler with Celasta, Crown of the Magister. If you like what you've seen, remember to leave a like, comment if you got any feedback, and subscribe for more RPG content. Until next time, take care and goodbye. And if you are still watching, I would like to take the opportunity to thank my supporters, the top tiers of which are listed on the screen, without whose support I would not have been able to offer the variety of content that I have on this channel throughout the years. If you're feeling particularly generous and would like to join them, you can support the channel. Uh, there are a variety of options to do so. I have a Patreon, a Subscribestar, as well as channel memberships enabled. If you are not in a position to contribute, simply leaving a like, a comment, or sharing my videos are all wonderful ways to help the channel grow without spending a dime and are all greatly appreciated.